Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Prism Football 20 box, a full blaster case break of that. Pretty nice stuff. Obviously, it's the 2020 draft class we're chasing Hertz, Tua, Burrow, Herbert, among others. Some pretty nice stuff here. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the, uh, thanks to the folks who bought spots straight up. And congrats again to the winners. And all 32 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams six and a one seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. We got Derek down to Kevin. Six and a one, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven in final time. After seven, we got the Buccaneers down to the Browns. All right, Derek with the Buccaneers, David with the Texans, Michael with the Steelers, Grant with the Patriots, Andrew with the Rams, uh, Andrew B. with the Chiefs, Jeremy with the Bills, Aaron with the Niners, Stephen with the Colts, Noel with the Falcons, Andrew B. with the Vikings, David with the Lions, Alan, you got my Raiders, Stephen with the Titans, Carl with the Commanders, Aaron with the Seahawks, Ryan with the Broncos, Nestor with the Eagles, Ryan, Bengals, Alan, Dolphins, That's a few good teams collected right there. David with the Cowboys, watching Cowboys at Giants right now, getting close to the end of the first quarter. Aaron with the Jets, Diego with the Packers, Scott with the Jaguars, Carl with the Bears, Mark with the Cardinals, Aaron with the Giants, Wade with the Ravens, JC, Chargers, Michael with the Saints, Robert with the Panthers, and Kevin with the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland, this is for you. It's alphabetized by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Remember, this is the 2020 draft class, so keep that in mind. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals done here on Monday, the 26th, 2022. Blaster case break number one. If you want to run this back, we got another blaster case loaded up. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks everyone for making this happen, appreciate it. Here is the blaster case right here. There you go, 2020 Prism Football Blaster. Doing all 20 boxes, go big or go home. We've got some Monday Night Football on in the background as well. Got the Manning cast going. Keeping an eye on Aaron Judge, too. Yeah, Aaron Judge most recent at bat just a few moments ago. Backwards, the backwards K, the strikeout looking. Yeah, might have been a little, a little bit of a low pitch right there, but. Open up uh, five boxes at a time. Obviously, with the blaster boxes, I think the autographs are not too common. I mean, you may be lucky to see one or two in an entire blaster case, but um, we're definitely looking for parallels. That's the big chase here, of course. Maybe some prism silvers would be great. And other bits of color in here.
All right, good luck, everybody. The blaster exclusive is the is those orange parallels right here. Almost picked off. Yeah, that'd be nice. Got the Manning cast on in the background. I, lo I love that they're doing this. Is this, is this going to be an every Monday night thing? Or is it just some Monday nights? Does anyone know? Last year it was just some Monday nights. Maybe they expanded it. What does everyone think about a uh, no more Pro Bowl game? That was the big news of the day. No more Pro Bowl. It's just going to be a skills competition. And I think that's going to be led, uh, led by Peyton Manning. I think him and his production group are going to, are going to, you know, Spice up that exhibition there. I'm happy about it. That that game was uh, it's not fun to watch. And I don't think players were, were really into it. Yeah, Pro Bowl's pretty lame, right, Logan? So they're gonna maybe have a flag football game, and then some other skills competition, and Peyton Manning's gonna kind of be leading the way. Peyton Manning doing doing a lot of content. A lot of Manning brothers. Doing a lot of content for uh, for ESPN. All right, and what's the deal? No vet common ship, by the way. So commons like this will not ship. Joe Burrow obviously ships. All rookie cards will. So there's your first Joe Burrow Rhino. First of many, I hope. Clyde Edwards Elaire. Obviously, all those orange parallels ship. Noel says it should be a drinking contest, weed smoking contest. I think that's not quite on brand for uh, for the NFL. They're trying to keep it as family friendly as possible, and on an ESPN broadcast too. Disney owned. I don't think we're. I don't think we're ever going to see that. That'd be funny though. Um, I don't know if they have that dodgeball game. Luke is saying, "Hey, I've never seen a Pro Bowl game. The skills competition should be a little more, a little more fun." I agree. And finally, the NFL agrees as well. There's Chase Young, rookie gear. So that will be for Carl and the Commanders. We got a Jalen Hurts. He's been looking pretty good. That is for the Fly Eagles Fly, Nestor. Chase Young Silver. Pretty nice for Carl and the Commanders. Yeah, and they'll, uh, 
they did they did do a skills competition a little while ago. Maybe they'll bring some elements of that back. I'd love to see it. And with the with the Peyton Manning spin, he knows how to put on a show. Justin Jefferson, Vikings. That'll be for Andrew B. Deion Jones back there as well. Uh, I'll save a, an orange. Patrick Mahomes, Jerry Judy as well. We'll save those. Our shipping team will sleeve and top load those. All right, another five boxes. We got another blaster case in the store if you want to run this back. I think the Pro Bowl is, well, the new skills competition, I think is going to be in Las Vegas. Might have to go check that out. Probably at the at the stadium, right? At the Legion. But um. But. Hmm. Well, I'm sure they'll 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 have some skills competitions in the. Uh, I'm sure they'll have some at the stadium, but I wonder if um. I wonder if they'll 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 do something creative because you know the NHL All Star Game had like some like slap shot competitions like uh, at the at the Bellagio fountains and stuff like that Cody yes as soon as that fills we can do it there's still a number of fillers remaining in that quick hit mixer so as soon as that sells we'll get it on the schedule that's always pinned in the chat so you can always check that in case I'm away from the camera you can always click the schedule and you'll know when that's gonna happen Oh, you're going to the, going to the draft, Gilo, in, in Kansas City? Oliver went to a Pro Bowl in Hawaii. He says that was pretty cool. Well, it's, it's no more now. The Pro Bowl as you know it. Gilo, are you gonna, what are you gonna wear to this, uh, to this, to the draft in, that's being hosted in Kansas City? Will you be wearing a, a maybe a Chiefs a Chiefs print logo print sports coat? Would you be painting your face in Chiefs colors? Are you going to do something wacky like that to get on TV? Oh, you're not getting on TV just jeans and a t-shirt, Gilo. Oh, see, you know what you should do? Yeah, I like that, Oliver. You should put on some big shoulder pads Pop on a Okoye jersey, a Christian Okoye jersey. That'll get you on TV. Hmm, 
just letting Tony Pollard run wild. He, getting, he got into the secondary. And then some. All right, there's Saquon Barkley. There's Jordan Love. Ooh, we, we might have to get you some Jaspi gear. Yeah, when they call your name at the draft. With the first pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs pick. Well, not with the first pick. They might be. With the, with the 28th pick of the 2023 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Gilo underscore eight one zero and you'll just walk right out from the crowd and hop up there well when you're uh when you're drafted Gila what are you doing are you you giving you giving Goodell like a fist bump you giving him a hug you know give him a stone cold stunner like what what, what are we doing here Sean Alexander, he was a beast back in the day. And we got some blue, Antoine Winfield Jr. That is not numbered, but still a blue parallel for the Bucks. That's going to be for Derek. Antonio Gibson's got some potential, some upside too. That's for Carl. Gotcha. You're not a big fan of the commish, so you're just giving him a firm handshake, straight face. Got it. There is CD Lamb. CD Silence of the Lamb going to David and Dallas. There's Tua. Our first Tua for Allen and the Dolphins. Let's see if we can find some uh, some parallels of his. Apparently, no concussion issue, more of a back spasm, maybe ankle issue. NFL, NFL Pierre looking into it. What a disappointment. All right, another five boxes down, another five to go. Yeah, he looked wobbly, right, Chris? That did not look like, I mean, I don't know how many of you had back spasms before, but I've slept weird and kind of messed up my lower back and... I don't know. Do I get like that? Do I get wobbly? I maybe. You know, you do kind of spaz a little bit. I don't know. But Yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see what what if, what the investigation, if any, what it what it reveals. Now, you know, the Dolphins have been dinged before, right? I think they what what was their uh, what was their was it tampering or something? They they got they got fined for something earlier this year. So I feel like that might be 
sort of an organizational thing where maybe they're the kind of team that would bend the rules a little bit, you know, and and really put a lot of pressure on uh, on those independent, those third party independent doctors, I guess, that are doing it. Somehow, some way, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I'm. I'm a little suspicious of uh, of, of what the Dolphins are saying. Oh, was it a tampering with Tom Brady? Right, I think that's what it was. Something like that, right? This Monday Night Football game is definitely uh, not looking that great. 6-3. <laughs> Nine minutes left in the first half. I'm not sure, Chris. Depends on, uh, depends on uh, what sells out. First to fill, first to break. I only see two orders, so I don't think anything has sold out unless those two people have sold out of break. But if you check the schedule, I think uh, I think uh, there's no other break filled up after after this break. Well, the schedule says I'm going to take a break. Always keep an eye on that schedule. But yeah, nothing sold out after that. Uh, no, I, I don't know. I, I don't even remember who the PMG was in there. But the next upper deck break is from a uh, is from a fresh case, fresh master case, and we'll select an inner case and select one box from there. And we got a Joe Burrow base card and a rookie gear Brandon Ayuk for Aaron and the Niners. Is that official, Gilo? Another Joe Burrow for uh, Ryan and the Bengals. There you go. Someone had mentioned that earlier. Oh, so it's just might. Okay, yeah. We, we did hear that. The hurricane might affect next Sunday night football game. Jonathan Taylor. Colts. Steven with the Colts. No worries, Aaron. Hey, we still got some more boxes to go, so it could be some more. That's another surprise or two in there. And Debo going your way, too. Chris is saying Bucks moved all their football operations to Miami today. So maybe they're already anticipating the move. Yeah, everyone in that Florida, in the path of the hurricane, be careful out there. I know we got a lot of customers out in that neck of the woods. There's a Justin Jefferson Silver for Andrew B. and the Vikings. Nice.
I wonder where they would move the game. Where do you think they'd move the game? I guess they could move it to to Miami. Or maybe go up to Atlanta. Here's Jake from State Farm. Buffalo! Jeremy with the Buffalo Bills. Final five boxes. Let's see a, I want to see a Joe Burrow silver, like a Tua silver, Justin Herbert silver, something like that. Maybe something even low numbered or something. I don't know. We'll see. I think they have to move it to a nearby place, right? But right, I don't know how that works with a hurricane. Noob question, Luke saying, is RMB a filler for pick your team breaks? Yes. So which 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 one are you looking at in particular? So yeah, so sometimes if a if a pick your team break is is lagging a little bit, we'll pull those teams out and turn it into a serial number break. We'll usually put the break number in the title of the RMB so you know what it's for and what teams are involved and what break number is involved. Right, so for the Immaculate Baseball, perfect example. If you go take a look at that, there are eight of, so far, there are eight of 10 spots left in that. So if you look, if you click into there, you'll see the instructions on how that works. But basically you get a block of numbers for those teams. So if you end up with getting number three on the randomizer, then you would get card number three out of whatever, 13, 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, 93, so on and so forth. So you can get like an Orioles card, 93 out of 99, and then a Dodgers card, 23 out of 25, and then an Angels card, you know, 103 out of 199 or something like that. Yeah, I'm a little surprised too, Angels, Angels are a big enough team that we don't see the Angels. Those are usually one of the first teams snapped up. Right. Yeah, most of the time we usually find someone to buy buy the angels outright, but but uh, not this time. But now you can be part of you can get a number or two, and with those numbers you'd be part of a larger pool of teams as well instead of just pooling it into just one team. Man, 
Giants really can't stop the Cowboys' run right here. All right. There's a Justin Herbert. Chargers, that's going to be for JC and the Bolts. There's a Tua for Allen in Miami. Yeah, the no trout autos, you know, sometimes hurts the Angels, but that's that's priced in. Imagine how expensive the Angels would be if uh, if they had trout autos, but you can still get trout relics. Still can get one on one trout relics in there, so there's still some value there. Giants really can't stop that run. Yeah, there's another first down. All right, here's a two uh, emergent insert for Allen and the Dolphins. There's an AJ Dillon for the Packers. That's for Diego. He was asking earlier how well A.J. Dillon does in the secondary market. I'm not sure, but I think he's a pretty solid player. Here's a Justin Herbert relic, rookie gear. And that is for J.C. and the Bolts. how we finish this blaster case. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we do have another blaster case loaded up if you want to run this back tonight. There's a Jalen Hurts. Maybe we can, right? Michael Pittman Jr. is not too bad either. That goes to Steven and the Colts. Jalen Hurts, Nestor and the Fly Eagles Fly. There's a Jerry Judy rookie silver for uh, Denver. That's going to be for Ryan. Prism silvers are always really nice, especially for the rookies. And that, my friends, and Drew Brees at the end right there. That, my friends, is that. That's a 2020. Panini Prism Football 20 box blaster case bake break random team bake random team break number one. Another one's loaded up in the store. Uh, 12 full spots, a couple fillers, and we're in Breaksville. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time on Jaspie's Case Breaks.com. Bye bye.